again, everyone. Chad McGlain here at Storm's Test Facility. And if you're watching this video, then you're probably interested in finding out who the first week's winners were in our Physics 101 contest. I had 397 messages to my inbox this week. I chose the three best questions to read right here today, but I also chose three more honorable mentions who also won atomic cores that will be answered and posted to bowlwithphysics.com slash week one. Our first question this week was actually the most appropriate question, and it comes from... Addison Leisure out of Millers, Maryland. And he asked, considering this is a new core with a relatively uncommon cover stock, how did you determine the correct and best fit of a cover stock for this core? I'll tell you about the development of the physics, I have to go back a little bit to about a year ago when we first began the development of the atomic core. So when we finally dialed in the shape and the molding and all the 3D imaging that we use in our production systems down here in the factory, then we're able to finally start testing the cover stocks like hardcore. So we bring in a handful of our best testers. So we have high speed, high revs, low speed, low revs. We have lefties, righties, all sorts of tilts and rotations. So we pull out all the stops because we want to figure out what the, is just going on inside this ball. It's also important to note that we use human testers, not robots, because we make balls for humans, not robots. But more importantly, we try and figure out what the human error is. What happens if I flutter that ball three boards out to the right with nothing on it? Does it come screaming back to the pocket? Or did I shove it over my toe and just thumb it down with nothing on it, but it still carried the flat 10? I mean, those are the things that we want to see during a ball test. And that really is what makes up a good bowling ball. So the timing and development of the physics actually fell in line perfectly with Bowl Expo 2018 in Las Vegas. So we thought, what better time to bring this ball to the public and actually get some feedback from the people that matter the most, you guys. We brought our famous R2S formula. We also brought our beloved NRG formula. And we also, uh, Easter egg, hint, hint, a new cover stock that we're looking to introduce later next year. Based on the feedback from our public testers, the top performing cover stock of the three was actually the NRG Hybrid. And that's because it matched up to the dynamics of the atomic core the best. Now, that's not to say that the other two didn't perform well. It's just that the marriage between the NRG hybrid and the atomic core was tough to beat. All right, the next question is actually kind of appropriate for our week one contest winners because it has to deal with the ball development of the physics as well. It comes from James Butts hailing from Tyler, Texas. And he asks, how do you decide what smell a ball has? Well, James, we kind of hold this one close to our vest because we have a library of hundreds of fragrances at our disposal. Some smell like food, some smell like your favorite candle, and others actually have an aromatherapy benefit that have been proven to have a direct and positive effect on athletic performance. So many elite level athletes have been using aromatherapy for years. I mean, they use it for injury prevention, they use it for rehabilitation, and they actually use it as a sports medicine to increase their own personal psychological well-being so they can achieve the highest levels of success. And that's exactly what we use our fragrance in our bowling balls here at Storm for. We actually try and match the fragrance to the theme of the ball itself. The Intense was green. We used a bit of a mint fragrance. The Code Red was cinnamon, which was perfect. As we look at the theme of this ball, Appleberry Crisp was the obvious choice for the physics. And yes, we do have a bacon fragrance. So we got many variations of this third question, but Andrew Bradford from Clarkston, Michigan, worded it best this week. So he is our grand prize winner of not only an atomic core, but also a brand new physics bowling ball. So congratulations. He asked, is the Storm logo on the core just for show, or does it actually help with ball motion? I haven't seen any other core with this from any other brand, so I'm just curious to know its purpose. Great question, Andrew, and a great question deserves a worthy answer. So we've created a short video that's going to explain everything you need to know about the atomic core and then some. And without further ado, here's Hank Boomershine, our VP of Research and Development. fans, Hank Boomershine here. Talk a little bit about what's going on today with the Atomic Weight Lock. In this Atomic Core, we, we took a little bit of things we've done in the past, and we've had some great successes with making low RG, high differential, asymmetrical parts. And so over the course of those years, we've learned what makes them spin up faster, what makes them create the most amount of shape in the mid lane. And a lot of times we've done many different things over the years of creating the higher densities, 
creating flip blocks, creating those slugs and things in, in places. And we learned from those processes that we can do many different things. And what we did in this one is we created a very strong center mass from the x-axis. If you look, we create down that center point from the x-axis off the pin, we create a very heavy mass. So that makes us a low RG, so it gets us to spin up faster. And then the other thing we've used over the years, we've used ellipses in a couple different cores. And what we did, we used the ellipses at these 45 degree angles. And those, what they do is they create like a helical arc effect. And so uh, when you let go of the ball and it travels down the lane, it's trying to right itself and spin, it spins kind of like a corkscrew. And it, what we call a helical arc. And as it's doing this, you have one opposing force coming to the top and the other opposing force going to the bottom. So it creates a torque effect, okay? And then the very large oval bolt in the center, and some people might say it's cosmetic, but many times, no, it's not. It actually, there's a very vital part of that. And that very large ellipses across the middle creates a very distinct preferred spin axis in that Y. And so now, when we tilt that mass back and forth and we're moving it left to right, closer to or farther away from the vertical axis line, we can really control the shape. So by doing those and using those pieces and parts, many of those that have a little bit have been used in the past to help create certain designs, we've created something that's one of the strongest asymmetrical pieces uh, in the marketplace. And then the added slug to the bottom once again enhances that torque effect. So when you create that helical arc as it travels down the lane, and you got the slug enhanced in that as well too as the slug comes up to the top, it creates that torque effect as well too. So lots of technology going into this atomic core to create what we feel is one of the most diverse, strongest asymmetrical balls to date. So those of you who have any other questions and want to know a little bit more of the ins and outs, you can definitely reach out to us here at Storm Products, myself, Chad McClain, Zach Trevino, even, you know, Kendall Miles. We'll all be here to answer questions for you. And those Storm Nation fans out there, if you want some more, and go into your VIP Pro Shops and reach out to them as well, too. And so, once again, we appreciate everything you do and, and, and you know, pull up a storm. All right, everyone, that does it for our first week contest announcement of the Physics 101 contest. Be sure to tune in next week. We're going to have more prizes, more winners, and more great questions from fans like you. So be sure to head over to bolaphysics.com because that's the only way you're going to be able to submit a question to me is through the form on this beautiful website. Thanks, everybody.